YouTube, it's Above Average Cody, and today it's time to talk Quantum Translocator, the newest equipment added to Halo Infinite in Season 4, and more specifically, it has already been added into the ranked arena. That is right, it has now replaced Camo on Argyle CTF and also Aquarius CTF, which is really good news if you were not a fan of the camel walking the flag strat. It became very nauseating. And let me tell you guys, this new equipment is pretty impressive and honestly pretty insane if you ask me now that I've had some time to play around with it in customs. Um, so first off, guys, what does it even do? If you activate it, you'll see a little animation and you'll see a timer start at the top of your screen right above your reticle below your health. And you will see this lovely little glowing orb and now just allow me to run away a little bit. And you will see, I am now back exactly where that orb was. But that is not all. You will leave an orb where you activated it. And you can go right back to that orb. And you can do that as many times as the recharge allows you before the timer runs out. Now the timer does run for 30 seconds altogether. And keep in mind, you cannot do any translocating, quantum translocating. Um, if you do not first activate it and guys, this is just not me telling you what it does and how to use it I'm gonna be showing you guys uh, What I'm going to be trying to use it for but before that guys just a couple nuances and more obvious questions First off there is no distance limit on this device. It is strictly time so you can literally activate it run as far as you could possibly dream and as long as it is still active you can translocate back and also guys you are unable to activate it with the flag i am currently pressing the button but once i drop the flag i am then able to translocate back and again once it charges i can go back and forth back and forth as many times that i please and finally guys very very important the quantum translocator timer does not activate until the animation is done so if you are walking say i'm backpedaling here it will not set the point until the animation is finished. So you can see I started activating it down here and it did not finish until I was over here. Um, not a big deal, but just something to keep in mind. And also guys, if you look in the bottom right, after I translocate, it, there is a little timer. So you cannot just beam yourself back and forth. There is a slight cooldown each time you do hit the Quantum equipment. However, you can use it as many times as you want during that little 30 seconds timer. And then once the timer runs out, that is it. It is done. Now, that's mostly the main things, guys. Um, there's a lot of other rumors I'm hearing about it. Like, you cannot destroy the little orb. So you can see where somebody's going to spawn, but you cannot destroy it. Um, I've heard rumors that you can do damage with it when you translocate back if somebody's standing in it. But I do not know how true that is. I have not had enough time to it's truly no experiment universe. with it. But now let's get into some tips and how I plan on using this device and kind of ways you guys can think a little bit differently about the Quantum Translocator. Now the first and most obvious way that I feel is more like the beginner way to use the Translocator is pop it right when you get it. And that kind of sounds like a very mediocre way to use it to some of you, I'm sure. But it's really not that bad of a strat, actually. So say I just jumped across and grabbed this, guys. I pop it right here. I can just play a normal life. So say I run out here and kind of test the waters. Maybe I see a disadvantage. Maybe two, three enemies. I can snap back up to where I immediately popped it. I can go out. And now from this point on, guys... Say we get a pick. Say we get two picks. Well, now I can translocate right back. And instantly, I'm already up at the flag. And there's a few other ways. Say your team's over here. Throw the flag out. Translocate back up. And now I'm in a better vantage point to help out with that flag run. You can be very, very tricky with this equipment. Next up, guys, I want to talk about one of the very fun and very silly ways to use this. Um, I was showing people this on Aquarius on the live stream, and I'll use the example here of taking gunfights from uh, first ramp and second ramp here, right? So I'm going to pop the translocator, and now let me run up top here. And obviously setting this up isn't going to be so perfect in games, but you could take some fights, maybe chow somebody mid-steps, and then come up here and fight your screens. You can literally snap back down, 
take the fight down here from screens, snap back up, you're in cover, you're literally different people. Say they think I'm hiding down here to regen, psych, I am literally coming back here to beam them from a different angle. Um, this is going to be absolutely insane with the snipers on Argyle. Um, it should be pretty good, I think, with the heat wave on Aquarius, guys. And the biggest talking point with that, guys, is whatever direction you are looking in is where you will be facing when you snap back. So right now, I am looking at our own flag, right? I'm looking at the friendly flag. Now let me drop down, turn here. I'm now looking at the enemy flag. So when I snap back... I'm also looking at the enemy flag. You are not looking at the same area you were originally looking um, when you popped the translocator. So that's one thing to keep in mind. So if you want to use it to chow, quote unquote, two angles at the same time, when you pop it, say I'm shooting this guy here, and I pop it to go over here, guys, I will now be looking this way. Because when I was over here, I was looking that way. So you just have to kind of plan for it and adjust for it. Um, I will say, though, it can make you really, really discombobulated if you're not kind of keeping track. Um, not only the direction you're looking in, but also where your prior spawn point is. When you are going back and forth like that, and each time you hit the equipment, guys, um, it can be very easy to forget where your spawn location is. And I think this is where the more skilled players and people with way better awareness on the map are going to really thrive with this equipment um a couple other things that i was kind of brainstorming guys um stealing equipment right so in this area i've had plenty of opportunities where i'm chilling maybe there's a player screens but i have a clear path to their sniper right so i could pop this here and this may not work in higher lobbies um i'm gonna fully disclose that here and generally teams will be prioritizing their snipe but just in a pure bare bones custom game grab the snipe snap back right go out maybe we get a pick or two in the base right we want to get get some kills before we push the flag well now i can snap back i'm on their sniper plat i can pull the flag out and again guys you can throw this out you see a disadvantage just snap back and live to fight another day from wherever you activated it but again it's very easy to get discombobulated and um forget where you are when you pop it and what's going on so, so if you choose to forget where you activated it guys you kind of have to spawn it and do the like huh like the uh, the classic waking up from an afternoon nap type deal and now guys one other thing i want to give you is the flag run say you have one down two down three down you're getting ready to make a flag run if you pocketed this bad boy you can pop Our this make a good little flag run and this kind of branches off of uh what i was talking about with throwing the flag down you can literally get it pretty far as those spawners come up snap back let your team do the work and then come up you know do what you have to do for damage anybody spawning up trying to shoot that flag carrier and then honestly say your team doesn't grab the flag guys snap right back down and just continue the run yourself it is this is a really 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 cracked equipment if you ask me um, the fact that you can use it basically an unlimited amount of times within that 30 seconds is insane. And when you can do that, 30 seconds feels like a really long time. Um, so honestly, guys, I'm interested to hear all of your kind of ideas with it or what have you done with it in the comments. Um, I'm not really going to be doing anything crazy with it, obviously. Uh, I'm not that cracked of a player yet, guys. But um, you can obviously do the basics, like seriously pop it, you know, push out too many enemies just back out with it easy peasy you know take the sniper oh i'm gonna play snipe off the map go down nope psych snipe's still on the map they may think you're gone you can snipe come back up shoot them um somebody in chat said they literally like to use it when somebody's chasing them and then they can snap back and hopefully not fall off the map but you can snap back come behind them hit them with the melee and it can make for some pretty interesting plays guys but all in all this equipment, in my opinion, is... It's kind of like a game. It's really silly, guys. Because, like I said, I think the silliest thing is, like, the two angle peaking and things like that. You get the sniper on Aquarius. Or, uh, not Aquarius. On Argyle here. Um, you pick two different angles you want to snipe from. You can literally move along them freely without moving out in the open and exposing yourself at all. Which, all in its own, is pretty cracked. Um... I don't want to say it's overpowered. It's a little bit cheesy in its current form, in my opinion. Because, again, just its pure form of being able to have unlimited uses 
while also um, being an entire 30 seconds is like really, really insane here because again, I'm literally actively channeling two separate angles with my sniper rifle. So it's <laughs> to the enemy team, it's like there's two snipers on the map. Um, you can be a very hard kill while this thing is activated and you can do a lot of different crazy things on the map guys so i'm really excited to see how the pros use this i'm excited to hear how you guys use it in the comments and just i i don't want to say it's wrong for ranked because i'm pretty happy to have something really fun like this and something really like crazy to kind of see how it changes the gameplay here in the ranked arena where things are pretty stale so i really can't hate on it guys but um that does it for me again comment below with how you guys are using this equipment i'm really interested to hear what you guys are doing with it or any ideas you have um outside of that guys subscribe to the channel uh we upload every single day season four content's popping right now uh we're streaming this game five days a week we just started the afternoon summer stream so it's a lot of fun here guys hit that sub button uh leave a like on the video i already mentioned leave me a comment of course guys channel membership super thanks for like support monetarily um it helps me out as a content creator but please do not feel like you have to but alrighty guys Thank you so much for watching the video. This was a lot of talking. Um, I literally just went through customs on stream to kind of play with this equipment and work out some ideas to see if they would even be viable. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay happy, stay healthy, and stay tuned for the next video.